so sorry if this video has a, a kind of like a low energy kind of feel to it i honestly i feel like fucking garbage normally when i'm not feeling too good i won't be making a video or anything like that you know i normally just say like on twitter or something i'm not feeling that great I'm not gonna be able to do a video or anything ever since i woke up this morning i felt like complete trash like my body's kind of aching my stomach doesn't feel that great For some reason i have like a shit ton of like acid in my throat like acid reflux i just feel like fucking garbage today but like i know that a couple days ago i actually said that i had like too much stuff to do and all this stuff i wasn't gonna be able to post but i kind of just feel bad about even like saying it on twitter at this point so i just decided fuck it dude i'm just gonna do it anyway those is little stuff too i just i kind of i don't feel good i had to wake up super early this morning so like my head was kind of hurting because i only slept a few hours that's my fault because i'm just fucking stupid but last night drake's album views from the six came out and i'm not even you know like the biggest drake fanboy or anything like that like i think he just makes good music and whatever i like quite a few of his songs but i'm not gonna say that i'm like a huge fan or something but the reason i even mentioned it today is because when i was about to go on the twitter and say like you know i'm not gonna be able to do a video and all this stuff the amount of times i've seen drake just sitting on inanimate objects is just it's ridiculous there's like this app or something on this website where you basically just take a picture and then you can sit drake on any picture it's just like a png image of drake and you can just put him anywhere on any picture that you pick and people are just putting him on the most random shit the images from the cover art on the album where he's like sitting on a building looking down over the city and shit and now i'm seeing pictures of him sitting on people's face up shit i've seen him sitting on top of apples looking down at people's hands and of course people have to do it there's just pictures of him sitting on top of the tallest fucking dicks i've ever seen looking down on a pair of the fattest ball i wake up this morning because i had to go to the vet puppy had to get another checkup and all that stuff make sure everything's good she's growing good and stuff she's gained like almost two pounds now she's almost four pounds she's so small but she's gotten so much bigger than she was so i wake up early for this vet appointment oh there she's all good and everything and then on the way back home okay i went there with my grandma so she's holding the puppy right she's holding her and we have like a little pad thing that we set on her lap and then a blanket because a blanket normally calms her down when she's inside of the car because it makes her like really nervous they normally just like wrap her in a blanket and allow her to just like kind of just relax and try to sleep it off oh my god holy shit Jerry's is going off what holy is this Oh, what the fuck? That was such an awkward that. shot. I was gonna say something really cringy, but I just stopped myself, so. I'm probably gonna say it anyway. Yep, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. that shot was pretty sick. I'm actually glad that I didn't say it in a serious way. So she went quiet for a while after we were going back home, obviously. You know, she just calmed down by her blanket and everything. Oh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Is it gonna happen today? Nope, it's not happening. So she was on my grandma's lap sleeping and everything, and then she wakes up, okay? And she starts whining a little bit. And we were figuring, like, you know, okay, she's just nervous again and stuff like that. I realized she was still in the car and stuff after she woke up from her little nap. But the thing is, these weren't whines uh, because she was really nervous inside of the car. These were whines to go to the bathroom. She actually ended up just pissing and shitting all over my grandma while we were driving, and we had to sit in a car filled with pee and poop for like the next five minutes because we were almost home. Almost home. Blanket was soiled the pad like soaked through and oh man ah oh, the car smelled so bad i swear man it all just it smelled so bad inside of this fucking car and i get home and i start really feeling like shit i thought maybe i really just didn't feel that great just because i woke up really early you know like maybe i got like a little bit of a headache my body's aching just because maybe i slept a little weird yeah no i feel like garbage if i actually ever hit a trick shot in this video i mean it's not gonna happen but i probably would have named this video sick trick shot i would have put a thermometer in my mouth and everything in the thumb it would have been so bad <laughs> i'm actually glad i did it See, this is not the first time that some sort of pooping or peeing incident has happened i mean i've talked a lot about like potty stories and stuff like that with her like it's just a struggle she's a puppy you know yeah. she's learning but we had tweeted about this a few days ago she ended up taking yeah. a huge poop on one of her pads i was like oh good girl good girl and she gets all excited and shit right and then i give her like a treat every time she does it correctly like because we have a carpet and then we have a couple pads over there and if she decides to actually look around and sniff around and go specifically on the pad she gets a treat right positive reinforcement and you kind of have to talk to them like they're a little baby to make them sound like you know make it sound like a positive thing because they associate the tone of your voice with good and bad if you yell and have like a really deep sound of voice she's gonna assume that you know she did something wrong so if you have something like light and kind spirited and stuff like that it's gonna let her know like she did a good job and then you got a treat she's like oh i should do this more often right just common sense just normal training but the thing is she got so excited that she did it correctly that she ran over towards me completely threw her own shit i mean that's partially my fault because i started screaming like oh god what the fuck i kind of lost that positive tone so she was just kind of like what the fuck did i do wrong so i guess that made her feel like that she actually ended up doing something wrong Wrong. right there so she actually started running away from me while the shit was stuck to her little paws she tracks it all the way through the house i have to sprint around and try to catch her and she's so small that like i'm scared to even try to step on her so i can't even go like full throttle sprinting after her. i just have to hope that i can corner her and pick her up for a second so i could give her a bath eventually she just stopped running and she just came to me but holy fuck. but seriously it took me near two hours to clean up all of the shit tracks this little puppy
puppy shit prints just all over the place. Just little puppy shit prints. This is just a gross video. This is a sick video. Sorry if this commentary isn't like, you know, the most energetic in the world. I'm, just, I'm trying my best, guys. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's been Jeb, guys. Later.